Welcome to World Revolution. Here are seven profound lessons from who says you can't. You do by Daniel Chidiak. 1. You are in control of your life. Chidiak emphasizes that we are the architects of our own lives. The power to shape our destiny lies within our mindset, actions, and decisions, and not in external circumstances. You are in control of your life is a central theme that highlights the importance of taking responsibility for one's thoughts, decisions, and actions. Chidiak argues that, despite external circumstances, each individual has the power to shape their own reality by mastering their mindset and exercising conscious choices. The book emphasizes the idea that we are not victims of our situations, but active participants in creating the lives we desire. Through deep examples, Chidiak shows how individuals can reclaim control and transform their lives. Breaking free from limiting beliefs. One of the key examples Chidiak provides revolves around the concept of limiting beliefs, those negative, self-imposed ideas that hold people back from achieving their potential. He explains that many people live their lives according to beliefs that they may have adopted from childhood, society, or past experiences. These beliefs often manifest as thoughts like I'm not good enough, I'm too old to start over, or people like me don't succeed. According to Chidiak, these beliefs are not inherent truths but rather constructs of the mind that can be changed. In this example, Chidiak illustrates that once a person becomes aware of their limiting beliefs, they can choose to challenge and replace them with empowering beliefs. For instance, someone who believes they are incapable of success may start by questioning where that belief came from. Did they internalize it from a critical parent or a past failure? By identifying the source of the belief, they can begin to dismantle it. Chidiak then encourages readers to replace these limiting thoughts with affirmations or new perspectives, such as I am capable of learning and growing, or success comes from effort and persistence. This shift in mindset is a clear demonstration of how individuals are in control of their lives by choosing what they believe about themselves and their potential. The Power of Decision-Making Chidiak also provides a powerful example of how the decisions we make, big or small, ultimately determine the trajectory of our lives. He explains that every choice, from what we eat in the morning to the career paths we pursue, is a reflection of the control we have over our destinies. Often, people feel as though life is happening to them, and they fail to recognize the power they have to make conscious choices. In one of his examples, Chidiak tells the story of someone stuck in a job they dislike, feeling miserable and uninspired every day. Instead of realizing that they have the power to change their situation, they stay in the job out of fear or a sense of obligation. Chidiak reframes this by reminding the reader that staying in the job is, in fact, a choice. While external circumstances, such as financial stability or fear of the unknown, may make it difficult to leave, the individual still holds the power to decide whether to remain or explore other options. Chidiak emphasizes that by acknowledging their ability to make a different decision, to apply for new jobs, to develop new skills, or even to change their attitude toward the current job, this person takes back control of their life. This example underscores a critical point. While we cannot control every aspect of life, we always have control over how we respond to our circumstances. By making intentional decisions, we can steer our lives in the direction we want, rather than passively letting life unfold. Overcoming Fear and Doubt Another deep example in Chidiak's discussion of control focuses on overcoming fear and self-doubt. Many people allow fear, fear of failure, rejection, or the unknown, to dictate their actions. Chidiak argues that these fears, while real, are not immovable obstacles. Instead, they are mental constructs that can be managed and overcome. For instance, he shares the story of someone who dreams of starting their own business but is paralyzed by the fear of failure. Rather than taking steps toward their goal, they remain stuck in an action, letting fear dictate their life. Chidiak encourages readers to confront these fears head-on, recognizing that fear is often a sign that something meaningful is at stake. Instead of allowing fear to control their decisions, individuals can choose to take small, manageable steps toward their goals, even in the face of uncertainty. Chidiak highlights that taking control of one's life involves making peace with fear. By acknowledging that fear is a natural part of growth and stepping outside of one's comfort zone, 
people can regain control over their actions. He encourages readers to act despite their fears, understanding that every step forward, no matter how small, reinforces their sense of control and personal power. The Role of Self-Awareness and Reflection Chidiak also emphasizes the role of self-awareness in taking control of one's life. He explains that many people go through life on autopilot, repeating the same habits and patterns without questioning them. However, self-awareness is the key to regaining control. By reflecting on their thoughts, behaviors, and emotional triggers, individuals can gain insight into what drives their actions and what needs to change. For example, someone who frequently experiences anger or frustration in their relationships might initially believe that their emotions are caused by external factors, their partner's behavior, work stress, or life circumstances. Chidiak encourages readers to turn inward and ask themselves why they react in certain ways. What beliefs, insecurities, or past experiences might be influencing their emotional responses? Once they become aware of these underlying factors, they can choose to react differently. They can develop healthier communication strategies or practice mindfulness techniques to manage their emotions. This example demonstrates that self-awareness gives individuals the ability to take control of their inner world, which in turn influences their outer reality. By understanding themselves better, people can make more conscious choices about how they behave, leading to more harmonious relationships and a greater sense of control over their lives. You hold the power. An asterisk who says you can't. You do, asterisk Chidiak ultimately delivers a message of empowerment. Each person has the power to control their life through their thoughts, beliefs, decisions, and actions. He provides deep examples that illustrate how, by challenging limiting beliefs, making intentional decisions, overcoming fear, and cultivating self-awareness, individuals can transform their lives. Chidiak's examples remind us that while external circumstances may be beyond our control, how we respond to them is always within our power. By taking responsibility for our mindset and actions, we reclaim control over our life's direction. This message serves as a call to action for anyone feeling stuck or powerless, urging them to recognize their own ability to shape their future. 2. The Power of Self-Belief One of the core messages is that self-belief is essential to achieving success. Chidiak encourages readers to cultivate inner confidence and overcome self-doubt to unlock their full potential. Daniel Chidiak emphasizes the transformative impact of self-belief, framing it as the cornerstone of personal growth and success. The book explores how believing in oneself, despite external doubts or internal fears, is essential for achieving one's dreams. Through deep examples, Chidiak illustrates how self-belief shapes our actions, fuels perseverance, and ultimately determines the quality of our lives. The Story of Overcoming Personal Limitations One of the central examples Chidiak provides involves individuals who rise above personal limitations and defy the odds because they believe in themselves. He describes the story of a man who grew up in poverty, surrounded by negative influences and low expectations. Society told him that success wasn't in his future, that he was destined to remain in his environment, struggling to make ends meet like the generations before him. However, despite the external limitations placed upon him, this individual refused to accept the narrative others imposed. Instead, he cultivated an unshakable belief in his potential. He started small, setting manageable goals like completing his education and seeking out mentors who could guide him. Over time, his confidence grew, and so did his opportunities. He eventually built a successful business, overcoming the very obstacles that once seemed insurmountable. Chidiak highlights that the man's journey wasn't without setbacks. There were times when he failed, when doubt crept in, and when he was tempted to give up. But because he held fast to the belief that he could rise above his circumstances, he pushed through the failures. Chidiak uses this example to show that the power of self-belief is not just about thinking positively but about consistently choosing to act in alignment with the vision of the person you believe you can become. Breaking free from society's expectations Another powerful example Chidiak shares revolves around societal expectations and the pressure to conform. Many people, he argues, allow society to dictate what is possible for them, 
limiting their dreams to what is deemed realistic or acceptable. He gives the example of a woman who had always dreamed of becoming an artist, but her family and community encouraged her to pursue a safe career, one that would provide financial security. For years, she followed this advice, working in a corporate job that left her unfulfilled and stifled. However, her inner desire to pursue art never disappeared. Despite the voices around her telling her it was impractical or risky, she decided to take a leap of faith and start painting in her free time. At first, she faced criticism and skepticism from others who told her she was wasting her time. But Chidiak illustrates how her self-belief allowed her to stay committed to her passion. Eventually, her artwork gained attention, and she turned her hobby into a thriving career. This example demonstrates that self-belief is about tuning out the voices of doubt, whether from society, family, or even oneself, and trusting in the power of personal vision. Chidiak shows that when individuals believe in their path, even when others don't, they create the courage to pursue their passions and live authentically. The Ripple Effect of Self-Belief Chidiak also explores how self-belief not only transforms the individual but also has a ripple effect on others. He gives the example of a teacher who worked in an underfunded school with students who had been written off by the educational system. These students came from disadvantaged backgrounds, and many of them lacked self-esteem. The world had told them they weren't capable of academic success, and they believed it. However, this teacher decided to approach her students differently. She believed in their potential, even when they didn't believe in themselves. By showing them that she had faith in their abilities and encouraging them to believe in their own intelligence and worth, she sparked a transformation in her classroom. The students, many of whom had previously underperformed, began to excel. They took on challenges they had once shied away from, and their confidence grew. Chidiak uses this example to highlight how self-belief, when shared and modeled by others, can be contagious. The teacher's belief in her students helped them develop self-belief, which, in turn, led to tangible results in their academic and personal lives. This ripple effect demonstrates that when we believe in ourselves, we inspire others to do the same, creating a cycle of empowerment and possibility. Overcoming Fear and Doubt Fear and doubt are common obstacles to self-belief, and Chidiak delves into examples of how individuals can overcome them. He shares the story of a man who dreamed of becoming a public speaker but was paralyzed by the fear of failure and public judgment. Every time he considered stepping onto a stage, his mind was flooded with thoughts like, what if I forget my words, or what if everyone thinks I'm a fraud? These fears held him back for years, preventing him from pursuing his passion. Chidiak explains that the turning point came when the man decided to face his fears head-on. Instead of running from his doubts, he acknowledged them but chose not to let them control his actions. He started by speaking in small settings, church groups, community events, and gradually built his confidence. Each time he spoke, his self-belief grew, and eventually, he began booking larger and larger speaking engagements. Chidiak uses this example to show that self-belief doesn't mean the absence of fear. Instead, it means choosing to move forward despite fear. By taking small, consistent steps toward a goal, even in the face of doubt, individuals build the resilience and confidence needed to overcome obstacles and realize their potential. Self-belief and the power of visualization Chidiak also discusses the power of visualization as a tool to strengthen self-belief. He shares the example of an athlete who used visualization to overcome challenges and achieve his goals. This athlete, despite being physically talented, often struggled with self-doubt, particularly when competing against tougher opponents. Before races, he would find himself thinking, what if I'm not fast enough, or what if I lose in front of everyone? To combat this, the athlete began practicing visualization. Every day, he would mentally rehearse winning his race, seeing himself crossing the finish line first, feeling the thrill of victory, and hearing the cheers of the crowd. Over time, this practice helped him internalize the belief that he could succeed. The more vividly he imagined success, the more his subconscious mind accepted it as a reality. When race day came, the athlete was no longer paralyzed by doubt. He had already seen himself winning so many times in his mind that he approached the race with confidence and focus. 
Chidiak uses this story to illustrate how visualization can strengthen self-belief by helping individuals mentally rehearse success, which in turn impacts their performance and outcomes. You create your reality. Through these deep examples, Daniel Chidiak demonstrates the immense power of self-belief. Whether it's overcoming personal limitations, challenging societal expectations, inspiring others, or facing down fear, self-belief is the key to unlocking one's potential. Chidiak's message is clear, you are in control of your life, and what you believe about yourself shapes your reality. Chidiak encourages readers to take responsibility for their beliefs and to actively cultivate a mindset that empowers them to pursue their dreams, regardless of external circumstances. Through stories of resilience, courage, and transformation, he shows that self-belief is not just a feeling but a choice, a choice that each person can make every day to create the life they desire. 3. Take Responsibility Personal responsibility is key to growth. The book urges readers to stop blaming others or circumstances for their challenges and instead take ownership of their actions and mindset. Daniel Chidiak underscores that personal responsibility is a crucial aspect of personal growth. Chidiak emphasizes that individuals must take ownership of their lives, actions, and decisions if they want to transform and achieve success. He illustrates that when people stop blaming external circumstances and accept responsibility for their outcomes, they unlock the ability to grow and change. Through deep examples, Chidiak highlights how personal responsibility is the foundation for meaningful self-improvement and long-lasting success. The Story of Overcoming a Victim Mindset One of the key examples Chidiak provides revolves around the concept of the victim mindset, when people believe that external forces such as luck, other people, or circumstances are to blame for their difficulties. He shares the story of a man who constantly complained about his life. He was dissatisfied with his job, his relationships, and his financial situation. Every time something went wrong, he pointed the finger outward, blaming his boss for not recognizing his talents, his family for not supporting him, and the economy for his lack of financial stability. This man was stuck in a cycle of frustration and disappointment because he refused to acknowledge his role in his own life. According to Chidiak, the turning point came when the man began to realize that his external circumstances were, in many ways, a reflection of his internal beliefs and actions. He had been waiting for someone else to change his situation, but no one else could do it for him. Chidiak highlights that it wasn't until the man took full responsibility for his choices, his work ethic, and his mindset that he began to see real change. Once he took ownership, he stopped waiting for his boss to recognize him and instead sought out opportunities to improve his skills and take on more responsibilities. In his personal life, he began working on himself rather than expecting others to make him happy. Chidiak uses this story to illustrate that personal growth starts with recognizing that we are responsible for the quality of our lives. By taking responsibility, the man empowered himself to make changes that aligned with his goals and values. The Role of Responsibility in Relationships Chidiak also explores the theme of personal responsibility in the context of relationships. He shares the example of a woman who struggled with repeated conflicts in her personal relationships, particularly with her partner. Whenever an argument arose, she would quickly place the blame on her partner, believing that he was the one who needed to change for the relationship to improve. She felt that she was constantly being wronged and misunderstood and that her unhappiness was the result of her partner's actions. However, through reflection, she began to realize that her reactions, expectations, and communication style were also contributing to the tension. Chidiak emphasizes that personal responsibility in relationships means acknowledging that while we cannot control the actions of others, we are fully responsible for how we respond. This woman took responsibility for her role in the relationship dynamic. She started to practice better communication, expressing her needs more clearly and learning to listen more openly, rather than reacting defensively. This shift not only improved her relationship but also helped her grow as an individual. She learned that taking responsibility doesn't mean taking the blame for everything but rather acknowledging her part in the situation and making choices that lead to healthier outcomes. 
Chidiak highlights that personal responsibility is empowering because it allows individuals to focus on what they can control, their own behavior, rather than feeling powerless in the face of others' actions. Personal Responsibility and Career Growth In another example, Chidiak discusses the importance of personal responsibility in career growth and professional success. He shares the story of a young man who was stuck in an entry-level job, frustrated with his lack of progress. This man had ambitions of advancing in his career, but he felt overlooked and undervalued by his supervisors. For years, he operated under the belief that his lack of advancement was the result of office politics or favoritism, and he became increasingly disillusioned. However, after a period of self-reflection, the man began to question whether he was truly taking responsibility for his career. Was he actively seeking out new challenges and learning opportunities? or was he passively waiting for someone to recognize his potential? Chidiak explains that the man realized he hadn't been proactive in his development. He had been doing the bare minimum, assuming that simply showing up would be enough to get him noticed. Once he took responsibility for his career growth, everything changed. He started volunteering for difficult projects, networking with colleagues, and investing in his personal development through training and courses. His efforts soon paid off, as he began to stand out for his initiative and leadership potential. Chidiak uses this story to demonstrate that personal responsibility is the key to unlocking professional growth. When individuals stop waiting for opportunities to come to them and take ownership of their development, they create their own success. Overcoming Adversity Through Personal Responsibility Chidiak also shares the powerful story of someone who faced significant adversity but used personal responsibility as a tool to overcome it. This individual had experienced a series of setbacks, including losing a job and going through a difficult divorce. For a time, they felt overwhelmed by the magnitude of their problems and fell into the trap of self-pity, believing that life had dealt them an unfair hand. However, Chidiak explains that what ultimately helped this person turn their life around was the decision to take full responsibility for their future, regardless of the challenges they had faced. Instead of continuing to focus on what had gone wrong, they asked themselves what they could do to rebuild their life. They took small but consistent steps, such as finding new employment, seeking therapy to heal emotionally, and setting new goals for personal and professional growth. Chidiak highlights that personal responsibility in this context meant accepting that while the individual couldn't change the past, they were fully responsible for how they would move forward. This mindset shift, from focusing on what they couldn't control to taking charge of what they could, was the catalyst for significant personal growth. The individual eventually rebuilt a successful career and found greater fulfillment in their personal life. This story underscores that adversity can be a powerful driver of growth when approached with a sense of responsibility. Taking Responsibility for Your Mindset One of the deepest examples Chidiak provides is the concept of taking responsibility for one's mindset. He argues that personal responsibility goes beyond just actions, it also extends to how we think and perceive the world. In this example, he discusses a person who was constantly negative, always expecting the worst outcomes in any situation. Their pessimistic mindset created a self-fulfilling prophecy, where they seem to attract more and more negativity into their life. Chidiak explains that the turning point came when this individual realized that their negative thoughts were influencing their reality. They decided to take responsibility for their mindset by practicing gratitude, mindfulness, and positive thinking. It wasn't an overnight change, but over time, their mindset shifted from one of scarcity and fear to one of abundance and possibility. This shift not only improved their mental health but also led to better outcomes in their personal and professional life. Chidiak uses this example to demonstrate that taking responsibility for one's mindset is essential for growth. When individuals understand that their thoughts are within their control, they can begin to cultivate a mindset that supports their goals and well-being, rather than sabotaging them. Responsibility is empowering. Daniel Chidiak illustrates that personal responsibility is the foundation of all growth. Through these deep examples, he shows that individuals can only achieve their potential when they stop blaming others or external circumstances and start taking full ownership of their lives. 
whether it's in relationships, career growth, overcoming adversity, or mindset, personal responsibility empowers individuals to create meaningful change. Chidiak's message is clear. Taking responsibility is not about blame or guilt, it's about recognizing the power we have to shape our lives. By accepting responsibility, we move from a place of passivity to one of empowerment, where growth and transformation become possible. Through his examples, Chidiak encourages readers to embrace personal responsibility as the key to unlocking their true potential. 4. Break free from limiting beliefs. Many of us are held back by negative thought patterns and limiting beliefs. Chidiak teaches that recognizing and challenging these internal barriers is crucial for personal transformation. Daniel Chidiak delves into the concept of limiting beliefs, those mental barriers that prevent us from achieving our true potential. These beliefs are often deeply ingrained, shaped by past experiences, societal expectations, or the opinions of others, and they serve as invisible chains that hold people back from growth. Through deep examples, Chidiak demonstrates how individuals can break free from these limiting beliefs and create a life of greater freedom and fulfillment. The Story of Overcoming Childhood Conditioning One of the most powerful examples Chidiak shares is that of a woman whose entire life had been shaped by the limiting belief that she wasn't smart enough to succeed. This belief had its roots in her childhood, where she was constantly compared to her siblings, who were seen as more intelligent or capable. Teachers and even family members had subtly reinforced this narrative, leading her to believe that she simply wasn't as gifted. As a result, she avoided taking risks, such as pursuing higher education or applying for competitive jobs, because she feared she would fail. However, a turning point came when she attended a personal development seminar that challenged her to question the validity of her beliefs. Chidiak describes how she began to realize that this I'm not smart enough belief was based on other people's opinions and not a reflection of her true abilities. She learned to reframe her thoughts and began taking small steps to challenge her self perception. She started with simple things, like enrolling in a class she had always wanted to take, and slowly built her confidence. Over time, as she pushed against the boundaries of this limiting belief, she found that her intelligence and abilities were far greater than she had imagined. Chidiak uses this example to illustrate that breaking free from limiting beliefs requires confronting the stories we've been told and have told ourselves about who we are. The woman's transformation shows that these beliefs are not permanent, and by challenging them, we can redefine what is possible for us. The belief that success is for other people. Chidiak also explores the limiting belief that success is only for certain people, those who are more privileged, more talented, or luckier. He shares the story of a man who always believed that extraordinary success was out of reach for him. He thought that successful people were born into wealth or had special talents that he didn't possess. This belief kept him playing small in his life, avoiding ambitious goals because he didn't think someone like him could achieve them. This man worked a stable, but unfulfilling job for years, never daring to pursue his dream of becoming an entrepreneur. Chidiak explains that his limiting belief created a mental wall between him and the life he truly wanted. However, one day he met a successful entrepreneur who had come from similar humble beginnings. This encounter challenged his assumptions about success and sparked a realization, the only thing standing between him and his dream was his belief that it wasn't possible. From that moment on, he decided to break free from the belief that success was for other people. He began taking action toward his goal, starting his own small business on the side while working his day job. The business slowly grew, and over time, he was able to leave his job and focus entirely on his entrepreneurial venture. Chidiak emphasizes that by breaking free from the belief that success is reserved for the elite or lucky few, this man unlocked the courage to pursue his dreams and ultimately achieve them. Limiting Beliefs Around Fear of Failure Another profound example Chidiak shares is related to the fear of failure, which is one of the most common limiting beliefs that holds people back. He tells the story of a young woman who had always dreamed of becoming a writer but was paralyzed by the belief that she wasn't good enough and that she would fail if she tried. This fear of failure manifested as procrastination and self-doubt. Whenever she sat down to write, thoughts like what if I'm not good enough, or what if no one wants to read this, would flood her mind, 
preventing her from making progress. Chidiak explains that this woman's limiting belief was rooted in a misunderstanding of failure. She saw failure as a definitive statement about her worth, rather than as a natural part of the learning process. This belief kept her from ever taking the first step toward her dream. However, after reading stories about famous authors who faced countless rejections before finding success, she realized that failure was not something to be feared, but something to be learned from. By reframing her belief about failure, she began to see it as a necessary part of growth, rather than something to avoid at all costs. She gave herself permission to write badly at first, knowing that it was part of the process. Over time, her writing improved, and she gained the confidence to submit her work to publishers. While she faced rejections at first, she eventually got her first article published and continued to build on her success. Chidiak uses this example to show that breaking free from the fear of failure is crucial for growth, and that limiting beliefs about failure can be dismantled through persistence and a shift in perspective. Breaking free from beliefs around self-worth Another powerful example Chidiak shares involves a man who struggled with deep-seated beliefs about his self-worth. This man had grown up in an environment where love and validation were conditional, based on achievement and external success. As a result, he developed the belief that his worth was tied to how much he could accomplish and how well he performed in life. This belief drove him to overwork, constantly seeking approval from others in his career and personal life. Despite his external success, he was deeply unhappy because his self-worth was always contingent on external validation. Chidiak describes how this limiting belief eventually led to burnout and dissatisfaction. The turning point came when the man attended a workshop on self-compassion, where he was challenged to see his inherent worth as separate from his accomplishments. This was a difficult belief to break, but through practices like mindfulness, self-acceptance, and reframing his thoughts, the man slowly began to detach his sense of worth from external achievements. He started to recognize that he was worthy of love and respect simply for who he was, not for what he could do or produce. Chidiak explains that breaking free from limiting beliefs around self-worth is one of the most profound forms of personal growth, as it allows individuals to pursue their goals from a place of intrinsic motivation rather than seeking approval from others. Limiting Beliefs Around Age and Opportunity Chidiak also addresses limiting beliefs that are tied to external factors like age, using the example of a woman who believed she was too old to make a significant change in her life. She had always wanted to switch careers and pursue her passion for cooking, but she felt that at her age, it was too late to start something new. Society had conditioned her to believe that certain opportunities were only available to people in their younger years, and this belief kept her from taking action. One day, after hearing a motivational speaker who spoke about people finding success later in life, she realized that this belief about age was not a fact but merely a limiting story she had been telling herself. Inspired by this realization, she enrolled in culinary school, despite her fears of being older than the other students. Over time, she excelled in her classes and eventually opened her own small catering business, finding more joy and fulfillment than she ever had in her previous career. Chidiak uses this story to illustrate that limiting beliefs about age or other external circumstances are often just societal constructs that can be broken. By challenging these beliefs, individuals open themselves up to new possibilities and experiences that they might have previously written off. Freedom comes from breaking limiting beliefs. Through these examples, Daniel Chidiak shows that limiting beliefs are powerful, but they are not permanent. They are often rooted in past experiences, societal expectations, or fear, and they keep individuals from realizing their true potential. However, by identifying and challenging these beliefs, people can break free from their mental barriers and create the life they truly desire. Chidiak encourages readers to question their assumptions about themselves and the world around them. He highlights that personal growth begins when individuals take control of their beliefs, replacing limiting thoughts with empowering ones. By doing so, they can step into a life of greater possibility, confidence, and success. Five. The importance of daily habits, success is built on consistent, positive habits. Chidiak advocates for developing a daily routine that supports your goals, such as setting intentions, 
practicing gratitude, and committing to self-improvement. Daniel Chidiak emphasizes the profound role that daily habits play in shaping an individual's life and success. He underscores that while big dreams and goals are essential, it is the small, consistent actions taken daily that ultimately determine whether someone achieves those dreams. Through powerful examples, Chidiak illustrates that daily habits are the foundation of personal growth and transformation, demonstrating how even minor adjustments in routine can have a profound impact on one's mindset, productivity, and overall life trajectory. The Example of the Aspiring Entrepreneur One of Chidiak's key examples revolves around an aspiring entrepreneur who had dreams of building a successful business but constantly felt overwhelmed by the size of his goals. He would spend hours planning his future, writing down ideas, and imagining what his business would look like, but he struggled to take action. Every time he thought about the amount of work it would take to build his business, he became paralyzed by the enormity of the task, leading to procrastination and self-doubt. Chidiak explains that the entrepreneur's breakthrough came when he realized the power of focusing on small, daily actions rather than the daunting final goal. Instead of trying to tackle everything at once, he began to break his larger goals into smaller, manageable tasks that he could accomplish each day. He set aside 30 minutes every morning to work on his business, even if that meant simply sending an email, researching the market, or writing a short business plan. Over time, these daily actions compounded, and the entrepreneur started to see real progress. What had once seemed impossible began to take shape through consistent effort. Chidiak uses this example to show that daily habits, no matter how small, are crucial in turning long-term visions into reality. The man's shift from focusing on the enormity of the task to committing to consistent, incremental progress allowed him to build momentum and ultimately succeed. The Athlete's Daily Discipline Another powerful example Chidiak shares is that of an athlete striving to improve their performance. This athlete had a dream of competing at an elite level but struggled with inconsistency in their training. They would have bursts of motivation, training intensely for a few weeks, only to burn out and take long breaks. As a result, their progress was slow, and they became frustrated with their lack of improvement. Chidiak explains that the athlete's breakthrough came when they learned to embrace the importance of daily habits, even when motivation was low. Rather than relying on bursts of energy or inspiration, the athlete began to develop a disciplined routine, committing to training for a set amount of time every day, no matter how they felt. Some days, the training sessions were intense, while other days were more focused on recovery or lighter exercises. But the key was consistency, showing up every single day, rain or shine. As time went on, the athlete noticed significant improvements in their performance. Their strength, endurance, and skill level increased steadily, not because of any dramatic changes, but because of their daily commitment to the process. Chidiak emphasizes that success, whether in sports or any other area of life, is not about giant leaps, but about showing up consistently, day after day. Through this example, he illustrates that daily habits create the foundation for long-term achievement and mastery. The Power of a Morning Routine Chidiak also shares the example of an individual who transformed their life by adopting a morning routine. This person had always struggled with feeling scattered and unproductive throughout the day. They would wake up at the last minute, rush through their morning, and start their day feeling stressed and behind. As a result, they found it difficult to focus on their goals and often felt overwhelmed by their responsibilities. Chidiak describes how this individual decided to take control of their day by establishing a morning routine that set a positive tone for the rest of the day. They started waking up an hour earlier than usual, dedicating the first part of their morning to activities that nurtured their mind and body. This included practices such as meditation, journaling, reading personal development books, and exercising. These simple habits helped them start the day with a clear mind increased focus, and a sense of accomplishment. Over time, this morning routine became a powerful anchor in their life. It not only boosted their productivity but also improved their mental and emotional well-being. Chidiak highlights that the key to this individual's transformation was not in making radical changes overnight, but in consistently following a daily routine that aligned with their goals and values. 
the example demonstrates that small, intentional habits, when practiced daily, can lead to significant improvements in one's overall quality of life. The Example of Building Mental Resilience Chidiak also provides an example of how daily habits can help build mental resilience. He shares the story of someone who constantly struggled with negative thoughts and self-doubt. This person found themselves easily discouraged by setbacks and often fell into cycles of pessimism and frustration. They wanted to develop a more positive mindset but didn't know how to break free from their habitual patterns of negativity. Chidiak explains that the key to overcoming this negative mindset was the development of small, daily practices that promoted positivity and resilience. This individual started by incorporating a daily gratitude practice, where they would write down three things they were grateful for every morning. They also began to use positive affirmations, repeating statements like I am capable or I can handle whatever comes my way to reprogram their mind toward optimism. At first, these habits felt small and insignificant, but over time, they started to shift the person's mindset. They found themselves becoming more resilient in the face of challenges, better able to cope with stress, and more focused on the positive aspects of their life. Chidiak uses this example to show that mental resilience is not something that develops overnight, but through daily practices that reinforce positive thinking. He emphasizes that cultivating a strong, resilient mindset is a result of the small actions we take every day to nurture our mental health. Daily Habits and the Compound Effect In the book, Chidiak touches on the concept of the compound effect, explaining how daily habits, though seemingly small in the moment, can have a profound cumulative impact over time. He shares the story of a man who wanted to improve his health and fitness but felt discouraged by how out of shape he had become. Rather than jumping into an intense workout program, the man decided to start with something simple, a daily 10-minute walk. At first, this habit seemed almost too small to make a difference. However, as the days turned into weeks, the man found that he was not only sticking to his walks but also feeling more energized and motivated to do more. He gradually increased the length and intensity of his walks, and eventually, he began incorporating other forms of exercise into his routine. Within a year, he had transformed his health, losing weight and improving his overall fitness, all starting from the seemingly insignificant habit of a daily 10-minute walk. Chidiak uses this example to demonstrate the power of the compound effect, the idea that small, consistent actions, when compounded over time, lead to significant results. He emphasizes that people often underestimate the impact of daily habits because they don't see immediate results. However, it is the accumulation of these small actions that leads to lasting change and success. The Power of Consistency Daniel Chidiak illustrates that daily habits are the building blocks of success. Through these deep examples, he shows that it is not the grand gestures or monumental efforts that lead to transformation, but rather the small, consistent actions taken each day. Whether it's in personal development, health, career, or relationships, Daily habits create momentum and compound over time, leading to significant and lasting change. Chidiak's message is clear, by focusing on what you can do each day, rather than getting overwhelmed by the size of your goals, you can create steady progress toward your dreams. He encourages readers to develop daily routines and habits that align with their values and long-term aspirations, knowing that these small steps are the key to achieving success and personal fulfillment. 6. Embrace failure as part of the journey. Chidiak highlights that failure is not the opposite of success but a part of it. Learning from mistakes and setbacks is an essential part of growth and ultimately leads to greater achievements. Daniel Chidiak emphasizes the profound importance of embracing failure as an inevitable and essential part of the journey toward success. Chidiak argues that many people fear failure so intensely that it prevents them from taking action. However, failure, when viewed through the right lens, becomes a stepping stone to growth and achievement. Through several deep examples, Chidiak demonstrates how failure can be a powerful teacher, offering lessons that are critical for personal and professional development. The Entrepreneur Who Learned Through Failure One powerful example Chidiak shares is of an entrepreneur who experienced multiple business failures before finding success. This individual had launched several ventures, each of which collapsed after a few months. 
Every time a business failed, he felt the crushing weight of disappointment, self-doubt, and public scrutiny. People around him started to lose faith in his ability to succeed, and he began to question himself as well. However, Chidiak explains that the entrepreneur's breakthrough came when he decided to reframe his relationship with failure. Instead of seeing it as a sign that he wasn't cut out for business, he started to view each failure as a learning opportunity. After each failed venture, he took the time to analyze what went wrong, identifying the mistakes he made and the lessons he could take from them. Through this process of reflection, he realized that his early businesses had failed because he lacked the right team, didn't fully understand his target market, and underestimated the importance of cash flow management. Armed with these insights, he launched a new business with a fresh approach, implementing the lessons he had learned from his previous failures. This time, the business took off, and he eventually built a thriving enterprise. Chidiak uses this example to highlight that failure is not a dead end but a valuable part of the journey. By embracing failure and learning from it, the entrepreneur was able to refine his strategies and eventually achieve success. The message is clear, failure is a necessary part of growth, and those who fear it or avoid it miss out on the valuable lessons it can teach. The Musician Who Overcame Rejection Chidiak also shares the story of a musician who faced repeated rejection in her pursuit of a successful music career. Early in her journey, she submitted her demos to multiple record labels and producers, only to be turned down repeatedly. Each rejection felt like a personal blow, and for a while, she considered giving up her dream entirely. She wondered if perhaps she wasn't talented enough or that the music industry simply wasn't meant for her. However, Chidiak explains that her perspective shifted when she came across stories of famous musicians who had also faced rejection early in their careers. She realized that rejection wasn't a definitive statement about her talent, but rather a reflection of how subjective the music industry could be. Encouraged by this realization, she decided to continue pursuing her passion, using each rejection as fuel to improve her music and performance skills. Instead of giving up, she focused on refining her craft, taking vocal lessons, and writing new songs. She also started to perform at local venues to gain more experience. After a few more years of persistence and improvement, she finally caught the attention of a record label that appreciated her unique style. What had once felt like failure had transformed into a stepping stone toward her ultimate success. Through this example, Chidiak illustrates that rejection and failure are not indicators of a person's worth or ability. Rather, they are part of the process of honing one's skills and finding the right opportunities. By embracing failure and continuing to move forward, the musician was able to persevere and ultimately achieve her goals. The student who learned through academic struggles. Another deep example Chidiak provides is that of a student who struggled academically throughout high school. This student was used to failing tests, underperforming in classes, and receiving criticism from teachers and peers. His repeated academic failures caused him to feel discouraged and to believe that he simply wasn't smart enough to succeed in school or in life. Chidiak explains that the student's breakthrough came when a mentor helped him see that his failures were not a reflection of his intelligence but rather his approach to learning. The mentor taught him that failure is a natural part of the learning process and encouraged him to change his study habits. Instead of focusing on the grades, the mentor advised him to focus on understanding the material, using his failures as feedback on where he needed to improve. Over time, the student began to approach his studies with a growth mindset, viewing each failed test or assignment as an opportunity to learn more deeply. He started seeking help when he didn't understand something took the time to review his mistakes, and gradually improved his academic performance. By his final year of high school, he had significantly improved his grades and was accepted into a university. Chidiak uses this story to show that academic failure doesn't define a person's potential. Instead, it can be an opportunity to develop new strategies, improve skills, and build resilience. The key is to view failure as part of the learning process rather than as a permanent label of one's abilities. The Power of Resilience and Failure Chidiak also explores the story of a man who, after years of struggling with weight loss, felt like he had failed every diet and exercise regimen he had tried. Every time he gained some momentum, 
he would hit a setback, whether it was a holiday where he overindulged, a stressful work period that disrupted his routine, or a loss of motivation that led him to abandon his efforts. These repeated failures made him feel as though he would never achieve his fitness goals. However, Chidiak explains that the turning point came when the man began to see his failures not as permanent setbacks but as part of the process of figuring out what worked best for his body and lifestyle. Instead of giving up after each failure, he started to look at what went wrong and why. For example, he realized that restrictive diets were not sustainable for him and that he needed to find an approach to eating and exercise that he could maintain long term. By learning from his failures, the man adopted a more balanced and flexible approach to fitness, one that included regular exercise and a diet that allowed for occasional indulgences without guilt. Over time, he achieved his weight loss goals but more importantly, he developed a healthier relationship with food and exercise. Chidiak uses this example to demonstrate that failure in fitness, or any personal goal, doesn't mean defeat, it means there's something to learn and adjust for future success. Failure is a catalyst for growth. Daniel Chidiak emphasizes that failure is not something to be feared or avoided, but rather something to be embraced as a natural and necessary part of the journey toward success. The deep examples he shares, from the entrepreneur who learned through business failures, to the musician who overcame rejection, to the student who improved through academic struggles, show that failure provides valuable lessons that can propel individuals forward if they choose to learn from them. Chidiak encourages readers to shift their mindset around failure, seeing it not as an endpoint but as a stepping stone to growth. He emphasizes that failure is often a sign that someone is pushing beyond their comfort zone and striving for something greater, and that the true key to success lies in resilience, getting up after each fall and continuing to move forward. Ultimately, Chidiak's message is clear, failure is not the opposite of success, but an integral part of achieving it. 7. Live with purpose and passion, finding your true purpose and aligning your actions with it is central to living a fulfilling life. Chidiak encourages readers to pursue their passions wholeheartedly and live with intention, rather than simply going through the motions. Daniel Chidiak explores the transformative power of living with purpose and passion. He argues that when individuals find their true purpose and align their actions with their passions, they unlock a life of fulfillment, joy, and meaningful achievement. Chidiak emphasizes that purpose isn't necessarily about one grand mission but about living in a way that reflects one's deepest values, goals, and desires. Through compelling examples, he illustrates how people can transform their lives by discovering what truly drives them and embracing it fully. The Example of the Burnout Corporate Worker One example Chidiak provides is of a man who worked in a high-paying corporate job but felt a deep sense of dissatisfaction and emptiness. Despite his success in the eyes of others, he struggled with a lack of motivation and fulfillment in his work. He spent years climbing the corporate ladder, only to realize that he had been pursuing someone else's version of success, not his own. Chidiak describes how this man's breakthrough came when he took the time to reflect on what truly made him happy and gave him a sense of purpose. Through introspection, he discovered that his passion had always been helping others but in a more personal and meaningful way than his corporate job allowed. He had always dreamed of working in education, mentoring young people and helping them develop their potential. Despite the fear of leaving a stable and lucrative career, the man decided to follow his passion and pursued a career in teaching. It wasn't an easy transition, he had to adjust to a lower salary and a completely new work environment but the sense of purpose he felt from guiding and inspiring students brought him more fulfillment than he had ever experienced in his corporate life. Chidiak uses this example to highlight that living with purpose isn't about pursuing external markers of success but about aligning your life with what brings you joy and meaning. The man's journey from burnout to purpose-driven fulfillment illustrates how finding and following one's passion can transform a person's entire outlook on life. The Artist Who Rediscovered Her Passion Chidiak also shares the story of an artist who, after years of painting, had lost her passion for her craft. She had begun creating art that catered to commercial trends and the demands of her clients, which left her feeling disconnected from her work. Over time, what had once been her greatest passion became a source of frustration and emptiness, and she considered giving up painting altogether. 
However, Chidiak explains that the artist's turning point came when she decided to take a break from the pressures of pleasing others and focused on rediscovering what she truly loved about art. She stopped accepting commissions and instead began painting for herself, creating pieces that reflected her innermost emotions and thoughts without worrying about how they would be received. As she reconnected with her creative purpose, her passion for painting was reignited. She started producing work that was deeply personal and meaningful, and although it didn't conform to popular trends, it resonated with people on a deeper level. Eventually, her work gained a following from those who appreciated her authenticity and vision. The artist realized that by staying true to her passion, she had not only rediscovered her love for painting but also found success on her own terms. Chidiak uses this example to show that passion cannot be forced or fabricated, it must come from within. When people pursue their passions authentically, without compromising for external approval, they create something far more meaningful and impactful. The artist's journey illustrates that following one's passion, even when it means breaking away from societal expectations, leads to greater fulfillment and personal success. The Athlete Driven by Purpose Chidiak also tells the story of an athlete who, despite having natural talent and success in his sport, struggled with motivation and focus. He was winning competitions and receiving accolades, but deep down, he felt disconnected from why he was competing. His performance started to decline as he lost interest in training and began questioning whether he should continue in the sport. The athlete's turning point came when he realized that his original motivation, winning for the sake of external recognition, was no longer enough to drive him. Instead, he began to reflect on what his sport meant to him on a deeper level. He realized that his true passion lay not in the medals and trophies but in the joy of pushing his body to its limits, inspiring others, and being part of a community that shared his love for the sport. With this new sense of purpose, the athlete re-engaged with his training, but this time with a focus on personal growth and the joy of the journey rather than the outcome. His renewed passion and purpose fueled his performance, and he began to excel again, but this time it was the process and the love for his sport that kept him motivated, not the pursuit of external validation. Through this example, Chidiak highlights that when people are driven by a purpose that is deeper than external rewards, they find a source of motivation that is more sustainable and fulfilling. The athlete's transformation shows that purpose is a powerful driver of passion, and when people align their actions with a meaningful purpose, they unlock greater levels of achievement and satisfaction. The Importance of Purpose in Overcoming Challenges Another key example Chidiak shares is of a woman who faced numerous challenges and setbacks in her career. She worked in a demanding industry where she often encountered obstacles, from difficult clients to financial instability. At times, she considered quitting because the stress and pressure seemed overwhelming. However, what kept her going was her deep sense of purpose. She had a clear vision of why she was in her field and the impact she wanted to make. Her purpose wasn't just about personal success, it was about helping others through her work. Every time she faced a setback, she reminded herself of the bigger picture and the lives she was touching. This sense of purpose gave her the strength and resilience to push through the challenges and continue on her path. Over time, she found success, not because she had avoided obstacles, but because she had embraced them as part of her journey. Her purpose had given her the ability to persevere when others might have given up. Chidiak uses this example to show that purpose isn't just a source of passion, it's also a source of strength. When people are deeply connected to their purpose, they are able to overcome challenges with greater resilience and determination. Living with Purpose and Passion Daniel Chidiak illustrates through these deep examples that living with purpose and passion is essential for a fulfilling and meaningful life. Whether it's the corporate worker who finds fulfillment in teaching, the artist who reconnects with her creativity, or the athlete who rediscovers his love for the sport, Chidiak emphasizes that purpose is what gives life meaning, while passion is what fuels the pursuit of that meaning. Chidiak's message is clear, to live a life of purpose and passion, individuals must align their actions with what truly drives them, not what society or others expect of them. This requires introspection, courage, and often a willingness to break away from conventional paths. By embracing one's true purpose and passion, 
people can lead lives that are not only successful in external terms but also deeply satisfying on a personal level. These lessons emphasize personal empowerment, self-discovery, and the mindset shifts necessary to create a life of fulfillment and success. Thank you for listening. I hope this content is useful to you. If you like this kind of content, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel to support our team.